Cavs Bulls and Clippers Lakers tonight on ESPN. It's almost hard to describe how it resonated around the world. A thing of beauty. Touchdown, Texas! Touchdown, Mitchell! Wittenberg! Records are made to be broken. He scores! I've won! Oh my God! Get on my back tonight, boys. I'm going to take us home. I'll say this, Florida State is on the start of a new dynasty. Now, can they maintain it? He got slammed to the ground by Timmy Jernigan. Took a licking. We're getting back to where Florida State has been in the top five every year. Winston looking for O'Leary. It's a touchdown. They played downhill. They were aggressive. They tackled well. They were confident. They got in your face and liked it, and then they could back it up. Winston rolling right. Close the pass on the other. It's caught. It's caught. It's caught. Touchdown official. But it's nothing compared to the team of the 90s. Florida State rules the BCS. The 90s were Florida State. The dynasty began officially in 1987 and then built into a steamroller in the 1990s. Pumps wants to go long and he's got him wide open. Does he? And he will score. 14 straight years, 10 or more games in a season, finishing in the top five year in and year out. It's completely unheard of. Good help, going to go on top. Young side, puts him wide open at the three. He'll be up here. Florida State was a machine. Um, it was a brand. That's by the first pressure. Will not get by a bull roll. They were the standard for a full decade. Fourteen straight years in the top five. They probably could have beat some NFL teams. Going to the sideline and is intercepted. And Terrell Buckley has scored a touchdown. It was all about the defense, and it kind of started with Deion Sanders. Man, look at my swing. Deion Sanders, prime time. Prime time Sanders. Prime time, everything that he brought. He's prime time. Pushes his way, finds an alley. It's going to be a touchdown, Deion Sanders. When they're showing you the recruiting videos and trying to get you to Florida State, he was normally the one you noticed first. by prime time. It showed that that swagger was at Florida State. We really had a job of winning these boys over. That Florida State could play football as good as Florida, Miami, or anybody else. <laughs> there are so many players on this field that can make play. The combination of Coach Bowden, a great stadium, and just the tradition of winning. Kids just wanted to come to Florida State. We always talk about players having the it factor. Well, Coach Bowden had the it factor in coaching. I wanted to be part of a team that brought Bobby Brown his first national championship. And they had recruited so well for so long, but all of a sudden it seemed like it all came together. We'd always been that team that was great enough to get to the door, but just not good enough to come in the room because we didn't have that hardware. Hands it off, this is Blood. He will be hit at the one. He did not. All the guys came in in 1993, and that was our main objective, was to win Coach Brown his first national championship. Here comes Manover getting to the outside. Look out. Ward got it to McCormick, and he's going to score. Charlie was the key to that football team in 92 and 93. Ward with a man open, it is touchdown. Ward, touchdown Seminoles. Charlie Ward. Third and 17, and you sat back in the bleachers and you were like, he's got it. Ward getting some pressure, getting more, gets it away. He's got Fryer wide open. Charlie Ward is the best athlete that I've ever played with in my entire life. Ward gets away. And he decides to go into another sport in the pros. That's how good he was.
Warwick Dunn was a man. Touchdown, Warwick Dunn on the dive. We signed him as a defensive back. Then I gave him a chance to run the ball. What did he do? He broke it about 40 yards the first time he touched the ball. For a first down and much more. See ya. A foot race, you're not going to catch him. Anytime we needed to play offensively, if we were down and we knew we needed to score, we knew we could get Warwick Dunn the ball, and he was going to make some things happen for us. Coach Bowers is proud of a lot of things, but I know he's especially proud to have coached two NFL Men of the Year in Derrick Brooks and Warwick Dunn. You will hear throughout the course of this evening a predominance of fans for the Knowles. We were selected to play for the national championship against an undefeated Nebraska team. Here comes Florida State. We had great senior leadership, so therefore we had a great chance of winning a national championship. Ward on top and going long. Caught at the five-yard line by Kevin Knox. No, Floyd. Touchdown, he broke in the play. We weren't intimidated by the Huskers and that end on the helmet, you know. We were ready to play football. They close in a hurry. And no place to go. Good protection, intercepted. He's got it. Once we won that ring, we were able to step on a different stage. Florida State wins. Everything that we worked for just finally came right there that night when we won that game. That's one of the things that makes you proud as a Seminole. And your only hope is the next group that comes through can take the baton and run farther than you've gone. Winky's going to go to the end zone. Man's there. Got him. Touchdown. 99 was a year in which we went into the season with what I call a pat hand. We were a team that was voted number one in the nation before the season started, and we were voted number one every week. Touchdown, Florida State! The 1999 team had everything you need to play championship football. Winking. Touchdown, Peter Ward! Head coach Bobby Bowden and the unbeaten Seminoles. Ward's going to field it at the 40. To the 30, 45, to the 50, 40 yard line, 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! The 1999 team with Peter Warwick, they played in the Sugar Bowl against Michael Vick. Vick will run the option to the right, he's open, touchdown, Virginia Tech, Michael Vick. Michael Vick played one of the great individual games in college football history in that game. Runs with the football, cuts it back to the 40, to the 50 yard line, to the 45, Vick to the 40. He did everything he could possibly do for Virginia Tech. He's running for his life. Breaks the corner to the five. He's out of bounds to the two. But there were so many future NFL players on that team. They were probably the only team that could have contained Vic. Loose football. Diving for it. Seminoles come up with it. Here's the snap. Winky. Crossing pattern. Caught Dugans. 50, 40, 35, 30. Touchdown. FSU. Chris Winkie was the key to our 99 football team. He came in a lot more mature than a lot of us. He had played five years of professional baseball and then decided to come back to college. Why not? It's always fun hanging out at the end of the bar, being that nine-year senior. We're like, hey, who's that guy? That guy was a Heisman Trophy winner. Winkie Pumphrey, down the middle round. It's caught, 35, 30, to the 20, 15, 10, 5, State. Peter Warwick was fantastic in that game. Peter Warwick. Gosh, he had as much talent as anybody I believe we ever coached. Here's the snap. Winky dropping, looking, dumps it over the middle. Caught! Two points. Pete Warwick. Looking, Winky. Wants to throw the knockout punch to Warwick. Warwick open. Touchdown. He does a touchdown. Florida State beats Virginia Tech. We are the champions of college football. That 99 team, they were good. But I always argue with Peter Warwick and Chris Winkie and tell them all the time, 93, we would have beat them. Winston on second and long, throws in the traffic, but it's caught. Rashad Green racing for the end zone. When you look at Jimbo Fisher and what he was able to accomplish in a short amount of time, and this team definitely has a chance to do some very, very special things. This is not the same team. we got to have a different football team. Go get better next week. It'll be a battle. It'll be a war because now, every time Florida State plays, the other team's after them. In Florida State, we've had great tradition, great history, and uh, 
I think we're going to be here for a while. Williams again, cuts it back. Carlos Williams, and it all survived. And as I look at this team right now, they make us proud. As former players, we look at the program, and we're, we're proud of the shape that it's in, and hopefully it can continue to go in the right direction as it's going right now. Jameis Winston hurdles inside the 10, sidestep the tackler, and dives to the end zone. Even though the times have changed, the work ethic hasn't changed. The Seminole is still unconquered. Going and gold still bleeds in all of us. The Knowles equal a school record with their 17th consecutive win. And the vision is to be great. The vision is to bring the program back to what it used to be. The best for Florida State, I believe, is yet to come.